Okay, so what I want to do here in this video is to show you how to determine the location of a divide where we have a confined aquifer shown just schematically here. The thickness of the aquifer is B. The hydraulic connectivity is K. And the heads at the two ends of the aquifer are H1 and H2. And the recharge is uniformly distributed over this aquifer, like that. We'll call that R. So in a previous video, we saw that we can go through the analysis and we can work out that this is the equation for the heads. And when we plot it up, we see that the divide, which is right here for this value of um, recharge and hydraulic connectivity, and then if we change R over K, we see that the divide, the location of the divide changes. So what I want to do is, is analyze uh, what this distance to the divide is. And I'm going to call that X sub D. So I want to analyze what that is, and I want to see what kind of uh, properties of the analysis control the location of the divide. So if this is the heads, then I can say that the divide uh, occurs where the gradient is equal to zero. So the gradient is equal to zero. And I can determine the gradient by taking the derivative of this expression. So if I do that, then I get minus uh, r over 2kb. Um, and take the derivative of x, I get 2x, uh, and then the derivative of this thing, it's just going to be the thing in parentheses, and the x goes, the h1 will go. So I get h1 minus h2 over L plus R L over 2kb. And that's the derivative. Okay, it looks like those two will cancel. So at the divide, um, I'm going to set this equal to zero. And I'm going to set uh, x equal to x sub d, right? That's the location of the divide. So I'm going to substitute that stuff into this expression that I just came up with. So I get zero equals minus r over kb times x sub d, uh, and then plus this other stuff. OK, so that's the uh, substitution. And now I just want to solve for x d. So that's going to come over here. And then I'm going to multiply through by kb over r. And if I multiply this last term by KB over R, I just get L over 2. OK, so that's now an expression for the location of the divide. And what we can see is that um, L it depends on the ratio of R and K, depends on the heads on either side or on the streams. And it depends on the distance. So that all makes sense, I think. Um, and what we can do, though, is say, well, what if the heads on the two streams are equal? So if that's the case, then uh, the heads here and the heads here are the same. And if, if h2 equals h1, then this expression is equal to 0, right? Because h2 minus h1 is equal to 0. So if, eight, if that's true, then xd is equal to L over 2. So if the heads on the two sides are equal, then the divide is always going to be in the middle. And we saw that on the previous analysis um, where we plotted it up. So here, here we get that result. And what we can see then is if we say, well, these 
H2 and H1 are not equal. And if H2, the one, the head out here, if that's greater than H1, then this will always be positive. And that means HXD will always be greater than L2 or L over 2. So it'll always be further along the x-axis, which is what we saw in this example. So that makes sense. And the, the distance that it is from the, the center point depends on what the head difference is and what the ratio of K and R are. Okay, so that I think makes sense. Um, and what we see is that this term here increases and the divide moves further towards the end as we, as we increase the ratio of K to R. So as, as k, to, k over R increases, XD moves over to, towards the upstream side. So that's, that's what we saw here. Um, this one, this blue curve is for uh, R over K of 0 0.001, and this one is uh, 0 0.005. And here we're, we're saying that it depends on the inverse of R over K, K over R. So as we, as we, re, as recharge gets smaller compared to K, then the amplitude, the, this amplitude diminishes and the divide moves over towards the upstream side, towards the, the, the higher, the higher end. So that, that makes sense. That's, that's what we get. Another thing though, that's, kind of interesting that falls out of this is that um, let me write this write this again so kb over r okay so this thing if that equals l over 2 then the divide occurs out here and there's not really anything that prevents this from being even bigger than L over two, right? Because if if R is well, if R is zero, then this whole thing is infinity. And I mean, it doesn't the analysis doesn't really work for that. But if R is just very small, then this is very big. And what it means is that if this term here is greater than L over two, then there is no divide. And I think we can see how that works because what I plotted was um, different values here. So there is a case for where the divide is right, right there. And um, uh, well, I, th I guess this is, yeah, so this is, this is the divide is, there is a divide, but it's, it's quite close to the endpoint. But then this term is even bigger. We increase that this term by decreasing R and or increasing K. And we go from the green to the red. And you can see now that, well, if there's, if there's no recharge at all, then we just get this linear. But if there's just a little bit of recharge compared to K, then we have this reddish curve. And you can see that it's curved, but there's no divide. There's no place where the, the gradient is zero. The gradient is always, the, there's always a gradient in that direction. So what it means is that if there's no recharge at all, then we're going to have flow that comes out of this stream and, and, and goes over to this stream. So up here, if there's no recharge, then we just have flow from the high head to the low head. And it means that if there is just a small amount of recharge, then the same thing happens. Then we have the, 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 this stream on this end is losing and this stream is gaining and this stream here gains the water that the stream on the right loses along with the recharge that comes in over the aquifer. But there's no 
the, the, this stream on the upgraded side is losing. And, and that occurs whenever this term here is greater than L over 2. Okay, so that gives us a little bit more insight into how divide, Grauer divides between streams might work.